Hey, what's going on guys? JC here, Lawn Squad Mowing. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make logo designs for your business absolutely free just using your cell phone. I use a series of two separate apps uh, which are available for free for download in the Apple Store and I believe they may also be available in the Google Play Store as well. Uh, the first app that I use is actually an app called Fonto. It's spelled P-H-O-N-T-O, Fonto. Um, that's the main design app that I use. And the second app is called Cut Me In, and which in essence, that really is a background and eliminator for images, which is very necessary for creating logos. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a design. Uh, so follow along and hopefully this will help you uh, to create a logo design for yourself. Um, stay tuned guys and follow along. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right guys, uh, so let's go ahead and begin. Like I said earlier, the main app is called the Fonto app. It's the red one right here in the third row, second, uh, third one into the right. And uh, as you can see, there is nothing there. So we're gonna go ahead and click the camera icon on the bottom middle there and go ahead and select plain images. We're gonna hit the white image for now and the top right um, icon there with the arrow and hit that and go ahead and hit use. Now for purposes of this video and uh, for this demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and call this company ABC Landscaping. So the first thing you wanna do is just hit anywhere on the screen just tap it and you'll see add text. Go ahead and select, select that. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna type ABC for now. And you can see there's selections on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and font. And uh, we have a vast selection of different types of fonts that we could use. Now I don't necessarily recommend going for something extremely crazy, but uh, but you have your options, and um, let's see, for, for purposes of this, let's use that chop one. I like that one, so go ahead, we'll click that. Now it'll automatically be white, so you're gonna go to Style, and here you could select the color that you want. Um, I'm gonna go, I like green, so let's go ahead and select green. And I like that. So uh, one thing you could do is if you go to the stroke icon, you can go ahead and either have that um, outlined in in a different color that you want, or you can increase the thickness of that font by selecting the same color. And in the bottom, you could control, you know, as much as you want or as little as you want. So go ahead, I'm gonna use that. Feel free to play around with it. Um, there are also different options you could do as in regards to spacing. See, so you could use the letter spacing to get them closer together. Or if you had words on top of another, you can make the lines a little closer, so. Um, Go ahead, use ABC. I'm gonna go ahead and increase that so you can see, just collect that, select that, and there's these options. You could go ahead with size and you could kind of go back and forth with that, or you could use the minus and plus sign to decide where you, what size you want it. We could always change that, so that's fine for now. Now, as far as other options, um, you could curve your letters if you want. We're set it back to zero for normal. I'm gonna use the 3D option. I like to use that one a lot. So this basically kind of gives it like a little pretty cool effect. Um, you know, I, I, you can play around with it. The angles are pretty cool, but uh, yeah, I like that. Let's stick with that. All right. Now um, you wanna add some more text. Just make sure that box isn't selected. Hit anywhere else on the screen and then tap again like you did initially and you'll see the add text option. Now let's write landscaping. All right. Now I'm gonna use a different font because I like to change it up a little bit. And let's see, something italic. Um, how about this one here? I like that one. Let's uh, decrease the size because the one thing you don't want to do is uh, make it too big because it'll only save what's within that white box. So if you make it any bigger, it'll cut it off. Um, just make sure you stay within those lines. And uh, and yeah, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and change that color. So I'll go back to style and I want that black and I'll select that. You, know, you could always go back to style stroke if you want to make it thicker and I like that too. So. We can move this 
with the arrows, you can move it with your fingers and go down. Now I like where that's going so far. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, this uh, if you want to add some shapes, so you see the three lines on the bottom left, you go ahead and select that, and you can hit Add Item. Now, there's many options here. There's boxes, there's hearts, there's uh, you know different things, um, social media stuff. This is good for like Instagram posts or whatever. But uh, I'm just going to go with a regular shape. I'm going to go with that box. Um, again, we could decrease and increase the size of that. I'm going to go ahead and play around with the height. So that's going to shrink it down a little bit. And uh, I'll move it just to kind of get it out of the way. But go ahead and uh, shrink that down. But guys, when you download this app, just feel free to play around with it. There's many possibilities that you guys could do. It's not necessarily the same. You don't have to do the same stuff that I'm doing here. But uh, just play around with it and you'll be able to kind of come up with something on your own. Uh, I know it took me a little bit of practice to kind of get things, um, get comfortable with things. And... Um, you know, I made many desi many designs using this app, and it's come in quite handy. So, uh, you know, it's a learning curve, but once you figure it out, it, uh, it it's very, very cool. It's very fun sometimes, too. You could definitely um, entertain yourself with coming up with stuff. But anyways, I want to use that for that. I'm going to shrink down the size of that ABC just a little bit. All right. How's that? I like that. Okay. Now, um... We got the lettering here, we got the shapes down, but let's say you want to add a picture, uh, maybe some, you want to add some grass into the mix of on this logo, all right? So this is where the Cut Me In app uh, comes into to place. So first we're going to go online, as we always do, and search for clip art. Now one thing I would recommend is that you guys search for... Uh, um, is uh, you, you want to um, get some type of clip art that is free because the one thing you don't want to do is uh, take somebody else's design. So search online free grass clip art or clip art or, or whatever else it is that you're looking for um, and you'll find some stuff. So let's use this one since this is one I already had preloaded. Um, go ahead and, and save that to your photos. Now you're going to want to open up the Cut Me In app and this is going to remove the background from that grass. One thing I want to add, as you can see on the screen, that this comes up with a lot of advertisements, but uh, you know it's a free app, so it comes as it is. I use the PNG option specifically. It's this one on the top right. Excuse me, and this will uh, eliminate the background. And so you want to select the little picture icon there on the bottom left. Select that grass image that you just used. Another another advertisement, sorry. Um, and then, okay, so we have a very simple design here. Now, I use either the scissors or the magic picker. The magic picker is going to be the best option in this situation because is it's the area for it to select is very easy. So we just want that green that, that's part of the grass. So go ahead and select, select that magic picker and pre or press anywhere where there's green, right? Just that one time is all that's needed pretty much. So it highlighted everything that's green and separating from that white. We're going to go ahead and go to next and we're going to see another ad pop up, unfortunately. So go ahead and go to more and save that. Save image. All right. So now we're going to go back into the Fonto app where we had our design. We're going to go to three lines on the bottom left. Hit uh, add image and we're going to go to the most recent one that we did. Select that. And as, as you, you can see, it uh, you know the white background isn't going to um, appear. So you could kind of put this pretty much every, anywhere you want. Um, unfortunately, you can't really change the color, but you know you could change the size, the width, if you want to. Let's uh, let's add another one. We could go ahead and do that as well too, right? Add image again. Do the same thing. Now we could always uh, shrink this design. Uh, let's uh, I, let's say it's too too tall for you. You just go ahead and go to size and go to height and bring that down a little bit. Okay. Um, so I brought that down to 128. I'll do the same with the the other one here. Size the height. I'll bring that down to 128 and then reposition it from there. Takes a little while. It takes a little getting used to, but once you do, I promise it's uh, it's worth it and it, it could be quite fun. I feel like I'm Bob Ross 
telling you guys to paint happy trees here. But um, now let me show you a little trick. Um, as you can see, the landscaping kind of gets a little hidden there with the mix of the grass. So what you could do is go to style, go to stroke, select the white color option. In the bottom, you'll see the width over here. It's at three. We could increase that. Let's increase that to six and hit done. Now it separates that from that rear background. Let's do the same thing with the uh, ABC. We'll hit style, stroke, and let's bring that to six. All right. It's uh, style, color, black. Okay. How's that? All right. And let's add some more text to it. So we'll hit add text. We'll write residential. Dash commercial. Bring that down in size as well, too. Play around with it. You don't have to necessarily do things the way I do them. This is your opportunity to go ahead and make things the way you want to, right? And, uh, you know, if you like that, maybe you don't like the grass there and you can change things, right? Now we can go to style. We could go to these, the letters on the bottom, the A's, those are just like shading options, right? That we could use. And those are fun. They, they look good. And let's do the same thing for this one, just to kind of separate it a little more from, from that. Now, I don't necessarily like it too much because the black and the green and the grass in the background uh, kind of, I don't know, makes it difficult to see. But but that's just an example of how you could come up with a design, right? Now, let's say you're satisfied with this. This is how you want it. Um, again, it's not perfect. I just came up with this within five minutes. So go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and save it by clicking, clicking the bottom right icon there and hit save, okay? Save image. Now, the problem with that is, is that if we go to paste that on something, we're gonna have that white background. So let's say we wanna use this for, we wanna use our logo on a picture for something that we post on Instagram. So let's say striped lawn, just for example, I'm going to find a striped lawn. Let's, uh, let's see. All right, I like this one with the mower. We'll save that, add the photos. All right, now we're going to reset, okay, because we have this already saved. So hit the camera icon and reset. Now we're going to go to the three lines here. I'm sorry, uh, we're going to hit the camera icon again and go to photo albums. Let's say this is a picture you took on Instagram and you want to put your logo, your, your landscaping logo on this picture. So we load this up. Now let's go back to cut me in. All right, let's go back, back, back. Hit the PNG, go to camera or photos, and select your logo. Again, I apologize for the uh, for the ads here. I'll try to cut those out in the video. Now go to the magic picker, and you could increase the size. Click everything that you see that you want copied, right? So we're going to hit every single grass blade. It could be a little tedious. I know. I'm sorry. All right, now when you're satisfied with selecting what you've selected, go ahead and hit next. No thanks for another ad. Go to that little icon and hit save image. Now go back into the Fonto app, hit the three stripes on the bottom left, add image, go ahead to that all that stuff you highlighted, click that, and as you can see, that logo appears with no background. You could increase the size if you want to. and uh, place it anywhere you want.
it's pretty cool. So that's how I use um, this app. I use uh, to create logos. And again, it takes some time. It takes some practice. But play around with it. It's worth it. It's free. And you could come up with some pretty cool designs. And that's ex this is exactly how I made all my designs. So I hope this information helps you guys. I know this may be a long video, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully it's helpful enough for you guys. Go ahead and uh, comment below if you guys have any questions. But hopefully this information can help you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you download the uh, Echo Means Business app. Uh, check up on the forums for some excellent information and some uh, helpful tips as well, too. But uh, in the meantime, we'll see you guys later, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks, guys.